Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Colio. I am Hansa and in this video I will be sharing with you a scary question of theory of equation. So without any delay let us come to the point. Well the concept that I will be needing or I will be using for solving the question I have shared it on the screen. You can see that this is the concept that I will be using for solving the question. I expect viewers to know this concept which says that suppose you have a polynomial equation of degree n having n roots which can be real or imaginary then some of the roots taken one at a time can be written as minus a1 upon a0 where you can notice what is a1 and what is a0. Similarly some of the roots taken two at a time can be written as a2 upon a0. a2 again you can notice what is a2 and what is a0. You can also notice the sign in front of a1 upon a0, a2 upon a0 and so on. Lastly, we have product of the roots which can be written as minus 1 power n, a n upon a0. Minus 1 power n may depending on the value of n, we will decide the plus or the minus sign. So, well, the simple concept is written over here. But believe me, it is a very important concept on which JE advance and not just JE advance, many international math tournaments also frame questions. So, let me show you that scary question I was talking about. So here comes the question. The question looks scary just because of the size of the question. But if you handle it with patience, you will find that it is not actually so. So let's start solving the question. I'll read the question first and then we will see how we are going to handle it. See, the first thing that they have given is a polynomial equation of degree 20, 22 with the roots written in the form of R1, R2, R3 and R20, 22. So this is the first equation they have given. Similarly, they have given me another equation. This is the second polynomial equation with the corresponding roots. And then we also have the third equation. So this is the third equation that we have. Again, a polynomial equation of degree 20, 22. And the roots are T1, T2, T3 up to T20, 22. So basically, till now, we have seen that in the question, they have written three polynomial equation of same degree with their respective roots in the form of Ri, Si, and Ti. Finally, the question says that I need to calculate the value of this box. What is this box? This box says that sum of three sigmas I need to calculate, which looks like sigma 1 less than equals to i, comma j, less than equals to 20, 22, Ri, Sj, and similar two terms are also written. How we are going to handle the question? To handle the question, as I told you, I'll be using the concept of theory of equation. But before that, when you look at the question, when you look at this question, so this is the question, rest is all information. You can see that here you have three similar kind of terms. One is with RISJ, second is with SITJ, the third one is with TIRJ. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to concentrate on one term. So I'm writing these three terms as T1, T2, T3. And right now I'm going to start with T1. What is T1? T1 you can notice that it is written as sigma. 1 less than or equals to i comma j less than or equals to 20, 22 ri sj. Notice that i and j are independent of each other. And that is the reason I can write this one as suppose I start putting the values of i. So I'll write it as I1, so it will become R1, sigma is J, where J will start from 1 and will go till 2, 0, 2, 2. Plus, I'm keeping I is equals to 2 now. I is equals to 2 gives me the second term as sigma J is from 1 to 20, 22, S, J. Keep writing the value of I like this, and the last will be R, 20, 22, sigma, S, J. Again, J starts from 1 and goes to 2022. 20, well, I have written it in the expanded form. And now I am going to observe each and every term here. You can observe that all the terms contain sigma S, J. All the terms contain sigma S, J. So I can take it common. What we are left out with is R1 plus R2 plus R3 till the last term R. 2022, right? But the terms which are written within the bracket here, I'm going to notice two things here. 
the first thing is it is nothing but sum of the roots of the first equation right the first polynomial equation that has been provided in the question it has roots r1 r2 r3 till r2022 so what is this this is nothing but sum of the roots taken one at a time secondly for the convenience i am going to represent the second term the second parenthesis in the form of sigma ri i is from 1 to 2022 so notice one thing that the very first term t1 was initially written in this form and because i and j are independent of each other i converted this sigma to the product of two sigmas right again i am representing this term i am representing this term with capital a and sigma sj i am going to represent with b so basically i can say that the very first term t1 has converted to a b what is a and what is b a is nothing but sum of roots of the first equation and similarly if you observe b carefully b is nothing but sum of roots of the second equation given in the question fine now I'll proceed with t2 and t3 in the similar way so when you proceed with t2 which is actually written as sigma 1 less than or equals to i comma j less than or equals to 2022 si tj you will notice that it converts to sigma si sigma tj both i and j are moving from 1 to 2022 both i and j are moving from 1 to 2022 again you can notice that both of them are actually representing some of the roots this one for the second equation this one for the third equation this is nothing but t1 t2 t3 up to t2022 ka sum i am writing this one as b because i have taken it b previously in t1 and similarly this one i'm going to represent with c this is the new term so i can say that the second term has converted to product bc what about the third term now so t3 similarly can now be simplified and you will notice that it ultimately converts to c multiplied by a c multiplied by a means what is c you will get sigma ti i is from 1 to 2022 coming to a what is a so it will be sigma rj j is from 1 to 2022 so this is what we are getting so what is the question the question says that you just need to find out t1 plus t2 plus t3 which actually converts to a b plus b c plus c a do we have the value of a b c individually yes we do have the value of a b c individually just because of the equations they have provided us you can go back and check the equations and you will find that the values of a b c that we are getting here are a from the first equation 7 b from the second equation 8 and c from the third equation 9 when you keep all these values over here and calculate it the ultimate answer turns out to be 191 so we are getting the answer for the question as 191. So this is the answer that we have. Hope you like the video. Please like the video and share it with your friends and family. And subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.